Welcome back guys to my next PvP build, this time with my main character, my Stamina Warden. I've tested the new set, Rotka, and it's really strong, especially on the Warden. If you stun or immobilize your enemy, he causes them to burst frost magic, applying the chill status effect and dealing 26% of their total physical and spell resistance. As frost damage to themselves, and it has an 8 meters radius. So it's also an AoE proc, not blockable, not dodgeable, unavoidable. Really strong, especially in Warden, since we have a, a passive called Pursing Cold, which deals even more frost damage, so 10% more on Warden. Pretty damn strong. We have TZ Swing as our CC, as our stun. Use it twice in a row, or just once with a medium on heavy attack to uh, stun the enemy and to proc Rotgar. We have it on a front bar with a maul for extra penetration, with three heavy pieces on a chest, boots and legs. Our second set is a back bar set called Clever Alchemist. What else? It's one of the strongest back bar sets out there. It gives over 650 weapon and spell damage. Pretty damn strong if you drink a potion, but you have to be in combat for that. It's kinda buggy at the moment. I don't know why, probably just saw things, they have to fix it. Sometimes it just don't proc. Nobody knows why, it's just a bug. Alternative, you could go with powerful assault here. Then Malakat to empower Hotgar for 16% extra damage and what else, Balorg as monster set alternative instead of Balorg you could even go with the new monster set called Magma Incarnate it gives minor resolve and minor courage so extra 3k resistance and over 215 weapon and spell damage and as last piece one trainee for extra health Traits, full impen, no it's not true, one well fitted, six impen, full infused weapon damage on the jewelry, back bar sturdy shield and a powered sword, and on the front bar a sharpened maul with the berserker glyph. Quick look on the skills, front bar, executioner, then sub train, dizzy swing, bird of prey, Forward Momentum and Dawnback of Smiting, so the same skills. Back bar also the same. Shimmering Shield, that's a flex spot. You could go if you play solo with Razor Caltrops for Major Breach for 6k penetration, then Bullnudge for Sustain and Major Brutality. Vigor, Armor Hot, Ice Fortress, Armor Buff for Minor Protection 2. Arctic Blast. Or the other morph, Polar Wind, and as defensive ultimate spell wall alternative, sometimes even use Healing Thicket here. Race, I'm still not for extra resistance, extra ulti region, and max stamina, and for extra health too. Mundus, the Serpent for extra sustain, and the Spafu, the Atium Takeaway Broth. 34 points in health. And 30 points in stamina. Potions, I use three different potions. Most of the time, the physical resistance potions with health and stamina. Sometimes the tricep potions. And before I ulti dump, most often uh, those mobility potions with Mage Expedition, CC immunity, and stamina. Quick look on the CPs. Blue CPs, the same like always, Master at Arms, Deadly Aim, Resilience and Dual Sweep Buff. For more damage you could put Resilience out for Biting Oreo. Red ones, the new ones, Pain's Refuge, reduces the damage taken by 1% per negative effect uh, active on you up to a maximum of 20%. So let's say you are one VX player or small scaler like me and you have multiple targets on you with 5, 6, 7, 8 negative effects on you 
like minor breach, major breach, minor defile, uh, minor vulnerability, that kind of stuff. This debuffs can all stack and gives to damage mitigation. That's insane. Super, super strong red CP here. Use it, guys. Then still slippery. Uh, celerity, also a new one for 10% extra movement speed. It's basically a steed modus for free. Really nice. And the last one, a sustain red CP called sustained by suffering. Increase your health, magic and stamina recovery by 30 per stage, so 150 per stage, while you are under the effect of a negative effect. So only one negative effect is necessary to proc this juicy red CP here. Let me demonstrate Hotka really fast. You can proc it with Dizzy Swing, like I said before. Here for example, that was a proc. Or you just use your ultimate, the arm breaker, like here. Suck, AOE explosion, pretty nice. Or you just use Arctic Blast, it also stuns the enemy. But then you have to stay on your front, but don't forget that. Now, with some gameplay footage with my PvP boys, but before the video starts, don't forget to sub my channel. Still over 80% are still not sub. Do me the favor and click on this red juicy button and support my work. I would really appreciate it guys. Now enjoy this juicy gameplay footage with my PvP boys. No on the on the main gate. Yeah I see dropping. Yeah. Just do it, just do that. Yeah. IDB. Da, 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 da. See ya. <laughs> see ya bitches. <laughs>
That's it with another PvP build. Next one will be a Magicka Source or Bomb build again. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. And I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Ciao!